Hello, 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 everybody. If you're joining me for the first time, I'm Nancy with Nancy's Original Art. And for everyone else and the new ones, I thank you for joining me tonight for another painting video. So tonight, I'm doing a 12 by 16, and as you can see, I've actually got a black base going on. Um, I've already flooded the canvas, and I've already used my little miniature blowtorch to take out all the bubbles. For my other colors tonight, I actually took a couple colors and kind of blended them together to try to make a gold color, but I didn't want this one to be metallic. So I kind of made a gold color. I don't know how well you can see that. Let me try to come closer. I tried to make it gold, but again, I didn't want this particular one to be metallic because the reason for that is because I'm going to be using a metallic color in here. But my next color is going to be the Titanium White by Artist Loft, okay? And as far as the metallic color goes, I'm actually using my 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art. So let's go ahead. We're going to get the colors down. Once we get the colors down, then we'll go from there. So again, that first color I'm going to do is the one that I tried to create myself, and it is the kind of a gold color, but non-metallic. We're going to lay that down first. And I know what you're thinking. Wow, that's a lot of color. But that's actually, that's what we want this time. We want to have a good amount of color because when I go to blow it out, I have found that on the black canvases, if I don't get a good layer of color down, it doesn't want to show up well. The black tends to overpower the colors. So I decided to try to put more color into it. Of course... As I've stated many times, you want to be careful because you can get air pockets in your lids. And when you go to undo the cap, it'll explode. And I just had that happen. Alright. So, my last color is going to be the 24 karat gold. Now this one, I don't want to put too much because 24 karat gold does tend to overpower. That looks good. And now we are just going to use my mini blowtorch again. And we're just going to pop the bubbles now. Oh, hold on. Something got in my painting. Not sure what. Okay. There. I think I got it. Sometimes, like I said, if you don't, if you don't clean your caps, the tips off, you can sometimes get a little bit of paint crusted right there. If you didn't clean it off and you go to put that paint down, you're going to get that little crusty. But I was able to get it out. So now, we're going to use this little blow dryer that I just love. Because for me, it's easy to handle. It's small enough, and I've got small hands. My hands are not big. So for me, this blow dryer is the perfect size. I'm just going to turn it on low, 
and we're going to go ahead and blow this out and we're going to hope it turns out. Wow, that actually came out really cool. Now, as I've stated in previous videos, whenever you're doing a painting, once you get it blown out, you're going to want to take a tool similar to this. This is just a really thin but long knitting needle, and I like to use it because once I've blown it out, I also have paper towel ready. And I'm just going to go along the bottom and scrape my bottom edge. And the reason for that, because you want to get those drips. If you don't get the drips, you're going to ruin your composition because not catching the drips continues to allow the paint to be pulled over the edge. And if it's being pulled over the edge, it's pulling the paint from the center outward to the edge. So you could take the chance of ruining your composition. So that's why it's always good to, as soon as you finish blowing it out, go ahead and get those edges scraped. Once you scrape them, you're going to let your painting sit for about 10 minutes. You're going to go back in, you're going to take this tool again, and you're going to scrape the edges a second time. For me... I usually can just get away with doing twice and then I'm good. Some people have been known to have to do it three times. It just depends on what your painting's looking like. Now, I'm loving, I'm just loving, loving, loving all the beautiful cells that have been created throughout this painting. And a lot of times the cells are created, usually when you use a metallic color, you're going to get some really amazing cells. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to bring you up for a close-up. Okay, first... I'm going to show you the painting without the flash. Okay. You're going to see some of that 24 karat gold in there. But you're also going to see that yellow color that I created. Believe it or not, I used a um, cadmium yellow DPU with a little bit of burnt umber. And then I added just a touch of white to it. And it really came out looking cool. Okay, so now I'm going to get the flash going. This way you'll be able to actually see that shimmer popping through. Like right there. There's that shimmer. There's more going through there. And 
anytime you see what looks like a little bit of sparkle, that's that shimmer. And that is coming from that 24 karat gold. I mean, seriously, just how pretty is this picture? Wow. Really, really gorgeous. And like I said, the cells in here, those cells are just amazing. I love it. Lots of good cell action. Okay. So there you have it. What did you think? Give me just a second. I know for me, I really love the look. I love how it turned out. And I'm going to show you something, okay? Because I want you to be able to see what I'm talking about. As far as the black kind of swallowing up the colors, I'm going to show you the difference. So give me just a moment. Okay, so. Yes, this is a really cool painting. But do you see how some of the color kind of disappeared into the black? Again, it is a really cool painting, but it just kind of disappeared into the black. Whereas this one actually came out really cool because I put more color down. This one, I didn't, when I made my strip of color across it, I didn't make it a really thick line. I just did very thin lines of color. And so this is the difference. You'll get something like this if you don't put a lot of color down. If, if you put more color down, you're actually going to get something more like what I just did. And I'm telling you, again, I do love this painting. I think it actually came out really, really cool, and I can't wait to get this one resin. but I am really, really, really finding this one to be another one of my favorites. So again, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please, please, please do me a favor, if you haven't already. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn on the post notifications so that you know the next time I post a video. And until the next time, have a wonderful evening, and everyone, please stay safe. Bye!